All right, guys, so this is just a quick update on part two of the Hemi swap on a dual Tecumseh 5 horsepower engine to a single shaft, um, to a single shaft Hemi Predator engine, which we have here. Seeing the demo, give you a quick thing um, to elaborate. I actually ended up pulling it all apart again so um, I could weld the bracket for some extra reinsurance. Nothing crazy, just a Lincoln Electric handy mig. Perfect. Actually, my first time using it since I got it. Awesome. Okay, so here is originally your gear linkage shifter here, right? It sits like this here. You have to rotate it the other way. Okay, now so as you're flipping it, right? Your <clears throat> this is your friction disc, right? You had to flip this too. Originally, right, this was on the right hand side. So you have to pull out the shaft and move this over to the left, which brings us to this important part here. This shaft here had to be completely, you know, reversed engineered. Um, so let's go over um, what I did here. Um, in, in length. So originally where this tech screw is here, there's a nub on this side here. All right. I cut off the nub, I ground it flat and I ran a tech screw. So the nub was here. So the tech screw runs out this side over here because we're flipping this over. The next thing I did was I had to flip this shaft. So it hangs on the correct side here. Originally it was the other way here. Now we're flipping it to this side, oops, over here, right? So what I did is just to make sure everything was lined up, okay, I, <clears throat> I grounded it down to a flat surface because there was a weld here, okay? And then I drained my drill. You know, I kind of eyeballed it um, I used the, I used an automatic center punch first, so I can make sure when I drill, I'm drilling straight and my drill is not drifting. And I drilled straight all the way through till I felt it was comfortable. And then I ran a tap. I tapped the middle of the shaft, and so I knew that <clears throat> the shaft would hold, and that when I put it back in, when I flip it, that it's going to be perfectly aligned. So once I tapped it, and I was able to get a good tap, and the bolt held really, really well. I put a bolt down there and I used some washers to hold it straight and I tested my, my theory. I put everything back, she and it ran great. <clears throat> so then I took it back out. I cut this shaft off. Right, I lied. So I cut this shaft off, right? And then I flipped the shaft because the shaft used to be on this side here. And I flipped the shaft over here, used my nut with a couple of washers to hold it down. Mounted it back inside the snowblower. Uh, so it's going to go through, you know, because you're going to run it through here. And you got to feed it through here. It's a really shitty one. Oh, do I have my light in here? No, I don't. But anyway, it's going to sit inside the snowblower like this. All right. Now, I just pulled it back out. Instead of, you know, this held pretty good. It's really, really tight. I just threw a couple of welds on the inside of the bracket here to make sure that it'll never, ever, ever come loose. So, um, this should be the, uh, the end all. And I'm definitely, you know, confident the next time somebody else wants to bring me one of these, I could do it, you know, in a timely and a uh, efficient manner where I can make some decent amount of money. Um, for those who are not paying somebody looking to save yourself some money, I hope this helps. All right. Thank you very much. See you guys later.